Coming up on Mobile Learning in the Classroom, Elementary Science with the Properties of Matter App. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin and this is Mobile Learning in the Classroom from Tech Edge. And today we're talking to Dr. Krista Adams about her app, Properties of Matter, which helps teach elementary science and a little bit of math in the process. So tell us a little bit about the app. Um, the Properties of Matter was designed with uh, my colleagues um, Doug Golick, who is a science educator who focuses on um, uh, technology. Su Young Hong, Dr. Su Young Hong, um, who is in the early elementary education um, with emphasis in science. And then um, we also worked with um, practicing teachers mm -hmm. and um, an undergraduate elementary teacher. Um, and that was, we felt that that was very important. So we had the feedback from people who, who were working with children mm -hmm. and who are really have spent a lot of time with young children from ages two and three on up to first, second and third grade. Um, we went to the research to design the app. Mm -hmm. um, we focused on uh, what children know about mm -hmm. properties of matter. So we looked at misconceptions that children have and things that you need to be consider, you know, consider as properties mm -hmm. of matter. And along with misconceptions, it was also aligned with the uh, standards, specifically K second grade standards and as well the early childhood standards okay. because um, young children like um, um, from ages two and three on up to second, third, even fourth grade um, are looking at this properties of matter. Mm -hmm. However, it's really geared for the um, pre-K, kindergartner to first, second grade. Oh, um, yeah. The app was designed for that age range. Um, what we really like about the app is, um, so we deal with um, actually four different um, aspects of mm -hmm. properties of matter. The first one is um, we look at um, this idea of how do, you, what are properties of matter? Mm -hmm. And we give the students um, the opportunity to um, actually uh, move these mm -hmm. uh, different items into the treasure chest. So um, the idea is there's a pirate adventure which is right. a way to engage and keep kids uh, coming back to it and right. uh, gives us a general story and now we can explore these items. So let's say I take this item and what do I do with it? I drop it somewhere? Yeah, you, you drop it into the, the chest itself. Uh -huh. um, and um, if you noticed, you may have noticed as um, when we came into this one, yeah. that um, you hear um, a young child say mm -hmm. um, that you, what you're supposed to do is sort. And mm -hmm. so the children have any, they can put things together for whatever reason that they yeah. want. So now, I'm sorting some living things here. And uh, maybe food? Yeah. Food and drink? Right. All and right, and the globe goes here. Yeah. I don't know where this goes. I'll put it here. What is this? A, a tire. A tire. So, but here's the thing um, with this. Now, the child can um, t decide what, but here we can also go up to the top and um, you can also get the weight. Mm -hmm. Now notice that we use weight instead of mass, mm -hmm. um, that, which is um, okay for these younger children. Yeah. It's an okay thing. And you can see that um, the hat is a little bit heavier than an orange in last mm -hmm. man. But I can also go and say, how, how, um, what is the length? Yeah. And finally, what is it made out of? Um, because these are all options that children can use to, to, explore. to explore. Now, um, the great thing here is now, once I'm done... why you organize the objects into each of the chests. It comes mm -hmm. up and, you know, when you, with a lot of the apps that are out there, they have multiple choices mm -hmm. and that's really pushing the child to have to, you know, to be able to read. Well, we're working yeah. with a, a demographic that are in the process of learning to read and, and, and such. Um, and so we actually have a lot of the things have 
uh, uh, the character actually mm -hmm. explaining what they need to do. And this is the nice thing, is then you can actually um, uh, record what um, is um, what is being, s um, why the child actually um, sorted the things as they are, um, as they're put into the treasure chest. So what is important for a teacher here is to make sure that they're actually doing it and not just clicking, let's go to the next game, but right. actually recording and explaining why they did it, which pushes a reasoning behind it. Right. So it'll be a good idea for a teacher to know all of this in advance to make sure that the students actually uh, are doing it and know that it's coming. Yeah, and, and the great thing here is that um, after you record, there mm -hmm. is um, there are rewards because mm -hmm. it's well, again, see? did you well, do it? Yeah. And so now whether it's now they get the opportunity to say, well, will it, this sink or float? Which is another thing that's really um, a lot um, in a lot of the curriculum for the younger ages. Yeah, especially so, preschool. Right, exactly. Yeah. Right. So I can say, oh, it'll sink. Oh, it's wrong. So float. But then I can keep on going. Okay. So that's our first um, our first activity. Now with the audio, you can actually um, we can go back to the the teachers, mm -hmm. and I can go in to, and I can enter in whether I want it as Fahrenheit or Celsius. Okay. Um, how long do I want my um, audio to be? Because again, mm -hmm. the teacher can go in and hear this. So if they want it to be short, let's keep it short. And then I can also in, um, enable student accounts. So I can add where um, mm -hmm. if you're in a classroom with one app or um, one iPad or at home and you have multiple children, then you can actually add in and then go in and listen to what, what did they, what individual students what e each individual student said and then go back and hear it again. Mm -hmm. So go back in. So th the first activity was to sort. Mm -hmm. The second one is this idea of weight and balance. Mm -hmm. And so the child actually, at this point right now, they were, um, they just put in things and it goes to the center and all I have to do is push it to the side and it's not balanced. So when mm -hmm. I can put the um, banana. And it's a little bit more balanced. Yeah. So. And if I put this here, now it's balanced the other way. Come on. Okay, so, but you can, you can start planning based on the weight. Right. And actually do it mathematically, although you can do it visually as well. Right, exactly. And Is so there any point where the boat just capsizes? capsizes? No, we decided not to go that route, but it is. That's um, fine. But in this iteration right now, it's just um, just to balance. Mm -hmm. We hope in the future that we'll actually have a little more uh, um, variables that are impacting this. And so the student has to actually decide, well, OK, there is a lot of uh, yeah. motion out on the seas and such to that. And that one also is, you, um, they, have, they can audio record why mm -hmm. did they do what they did. Okay, so, so let's see another example. So, so this is the third oh no, level or game? Yeah, this is the third game. In this one we look at um, the, the states of matter. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you'll notice here we really don't deal with gases. And this is, we do this specific that's fine. <laughs> so we specifically don't do deal with gases because young children, this is a misconception. And you know, um, mm -hmm. a lot of things, they'll put a balloon, but are you talking about the balloon or the gas inside? Mm -hmm. Now, and I don't want that to become a, a, a confusion. A source for new misconceptions. Miscon so we decided to only stick with solids and liquids. But the nice thing here is he says, oh, I need some ice, okay? So he, oh, he needs, oops, whoops, wrong one. So he's asking for ice. So I'm going to, oh, so it's perfect. The, so um, we had a nice little thing. Mm -hmm. So now. Now you know about the states of matter. What did you learn okay. by making things? So, and again, it goes back in, record, mm -hmm. what did you learn about the states of matter? Yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway, so here, and it'll have another um, sink or float. Yeah. Sink or will this float? And in our fourth game, it's kind of building on all the things playing out mm -hmm. throughout. Um, so we've got um, the, um, they've got to get across. They've got to get the wheelbarrow across from the, the boat. So now I have to figure out, well, what happens? I've got mm -hmm. um, a, a C, the C here. What do I put out here that will be appropriate for to get the um, wheelbarrow? So that connects to the sink and float idea. Exactly. Okay. So, so these three things, it may, and again, it's, it may not like what I have. So sometimes it actually prefers. So I put it right here. 
Oh, I'll find another. I, I know it likes this one. Oh, of course. So three items, mm -hmm. and it goes across. Okay, so here we're learning about ways to use things that flow to go right. all the way back to land. Yeah. So, again. I need to construct a road to get my wheelbarrow with a ladder and medical supplies to pass. All right. So now it comes to this uh, second place mm -hmm. where it's talking about balance. And so what we've got to do is actually get this little um, uh, ramp. They've got to mm -hmm. deal with the ramp and get across. Mm -hmm. So so that's again balance, just like we did on the ship. So they're, they're same principles kind of link throughout the right, mini games. Right, exactly. Now here we're dealing with um, a hot mm -hmm. lava. Now this is where, you know, again, having the teacher, the parent involved mm -hmm. in this um, to be aware of what's coming yeah. up. But you, you need to get material that won't burn up. So getting these three things. Mm -hmm. um, so it'll go across and we've reached Pat the Parrot. All right, so let's see the last game. So the final place that it actually goes to is mm -hmm. where now the students have collected all these coins along mm -hmm. the way, and so now they can spend their coins and buy um, little um, award uh, rewards to go along with it. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to go, oh yes, buy. And again, these are just coins that they've earned as, mm -hmm. um, as a little reward. And of course, got to have the sunglasses. So anyway, so th this is where the child can actually purchase and, and decorate um, Pat the Parrot. So. All right. So this is a great app for young kids to explore sci science concepts around uh, measurement. And those are also math concepts. And then mm -hmm. science around properties of matter. And really be playful and just play with that environment, explore it, get some information. And what I love about it is that ability to be metacognitive and actually explain why you made right. choices. So you can't just randomly do that. Or if you do, then the teacher or the parent will know because you're supposed to record right. why and, you've made your choices. And, and, and in, our, um, in the uh, instances that we've done this, we also have the supplementary material. We, we kind of see the app mm -hmm. as the supplementary because again, it's a good app, yep. but um, we, we don't think it's a standalone. You're talking about mm -hmm. properties of matter and things that they need to touch and feel, and that's the real world experience. Yep. But um, you can come here, do maybe like a pre-assessment, find out what they know, and then have that um, the curriculum and all to go along with it, and then come back and see how much they've grown and taken away to play out in this okay. activity so as there's, well. So there's a greater curriculum where this fits as a piece of that curriculum, maybe as formative assessment, maybe as practice, yeah. but it's part of a greater whole. Mm -hmm. Okay, so today, on Mobile Learning in the Classroom, we talked about elementary science with the Properties of Matter app, and we'll see you next time on Mobile Learning in the Classroom.